Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I greet you according to where you are and according to the time you see this video. Well, welcome back to my channel. This is Ready Space channel. In today's video, we want to learn how to cut short bubble gun. Yes. So I want you to watch to the end so that you understand perfectly. It's going to be easy and simple. And please, please, I want you to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be notified. And I, please, I want you to comment so that I will know what to think concerning my teaching. You know, thank you so much. I love you guys. My fabric is folded into four. I'm actually using my measurement for this dress from my back center point to where I want my sleeve to stop in my hand. I'm using 60 inches, which is very, very okay for me. But if you are a plus size person you can use 17 or 80 you know but for me i'm using 60 because 60 is very very okay for me then for my legs for this gun i'm using 40. i don't want it to be too short so i'm using 40. plus seam allowance 1.5 i'm using 41.5 totally so that is it i'm using 45 41 point five for my neckline i will be making use of three inches for the depth for my neck depth i will also make use of three inches for the width then i will curve it no i make use of three inches round then for the slit, because I wanted to have slit from the front, from the shoulder to the slit point, I use several inches. So after I minus the three inches for my neck depth, so it will be left over four inches for the slits. So it will, I, I will use four inches for the slits for the neck, because I wanted to have slit at the front neck. So that is it. The, my shoulder measurement is 60 inches. From my shoulder, I will come down with 1.5 inches. 1.5 inches for my shoulder slope. So I will connect. I will connect. The next thing. I will use 9 inches for my sleeve open. Then I measure my boss. I use 50 inches for my boss. Sorry, I use 40.5 inches for my boss. My shoulder measurement is 16. Meaning I go in with 1.5 inches. Then I come down with 2 inches. Come down with 2 inches. I recheck my 1.5 again, then connect my mark together and connect it together by curving my hand. You can see what I'm doing. The next thing is my hip measurements. From the shoulder to my hip is 24. I use 40 inches for my hip measurements. I minus 2. I minus 2 inches from my shoulder measurement for my hip. So, minus it 2 from 16, we will have 14, right? So, I use 40 as my hip measurement. Then I connect. We check it again to know if it's accurate, you know? Now, for my down legs, I make use of 12.5 inches, meaning I minus 1.5 from my hip measurement for my down legs, you know. So I connect together. So, so that it will come out beautiful. So the next thing, I will take my shape measurements. 
My shape length is 16. That is from my shoulder to my shape is 16. So I also go in one each. Then I will connect together. Meaning I use 30 inches there. So so that it will curve somehow a bit. You no, know, the hip is 14. Why I use 13? I go in with one each. So I just want it to be like that. So you you can leave it like that. We also come out fine, beautiful. Therefore, the back neck neck I use one and a half inches. You can use one inches, but that is what I use for my I use one and a half inches. So the next thing is to cut it. That is all about the marking. You can see the shoulder. I come down with one and a half inches for the shoulder slope. You can see the mark. We can cut it now. See, we are through cutting it. As you can see, it comes out beautiful. This is how I want it to be. So this is the back. I use I later use one inches for the back. I use one inches for the back. So you can use one and a half, you can use one inches. So I use one and a half. You can see the shoulder, it dropped very, very fine because I use 1.5 for the shoulder slope. So that is what I did there. So as you can see, see the shape, the hip, that part. I can see come out very very beautiful so that is it then the next thing is the float this I cut the float no three inches round I use three inches round you can see the shoulder you can see the shape and I added one and a half inches for the seam allowance before I cut it. I added one and a half inches for the seam allowance to sew it. Then I had half half inches for the shoulder. Then the body, I had one and a half inches. Then the down, I had one and a half inches for the folding in. You can see it. Though the shock is not visible like that, but with my explanation, I believe that you will understand what I did there. The next thing now is to cut the interfacing. We are only cutting the interfacing for the neck, the front neck and the back neck. So you will fold the pieces into two, you place it all down, and you make sure that the folding are equal together before you cut it. So I put three three inches allowance in so that it will wrap very well. You can see this lift. So that is what I did. You can see it. I use three three inches to go in. So you will sew it like this, like this. Then after sewing, you turn it in. You turn it in and you give it a good press. The same thing with the back. Cut it a facing for the back. Cut it to the size of the back. You also go in with a um, three, three, three inches, sorry so that it will go in very well and wrap very well then the next thing is for us to join the shoulder the after joining the shoulder we join the side place the right face and the right face too. then you sew So like this. Start joining the shoulder. Then you sew. Then you fold the 
the the sleeve you fold it around so that is it meshi and so it thank you for watching i love you guys i really appreciate please subscribe to my channel see you in my next video love you bye thank you once again